Hi Queen, so this is Be The Beat and this video I just really want to talk to you guys like I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say, okay. First off, <laughs> I got some new hair, okay, okay, okay. If you watch my Fat Girl Problems vlog, you know that I have a bald spot right now. But do you see my bald spot? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? No, you don't. If you watched it, you know that my bald spot is in the front of my head. It's actually right, like my, my finger is on it. So, I mean, now that I've pointed it out, you can see that it looks a little deep there. But I'm going to tell y'all how I covered it up. Okay, so just a little background if y'all don't know me personally. like, So, I was natural for about two years. I big chopped back in my like sophomore year of college or freshman year or something. And so I grew my hair out natural. I had a fro for two years. Then I got bored. So I decided to that I wanted to cut my hair like this. But I discovered a bald spot about a year ago. About a year ago, year ago. Bald spot about a year ago. It was located right here in the smack dab center of my head. So I could not cut my hair like this. I had to wait. So I saw a dermatologist. I got the cortisone shots. It took a year. Well, it took 10 and a half months for my spot to grow back with the shots. So in the meantime, I cut my hair into a tapered fro. It was like, you know, short and long in the top with the fro at the top okay so then I cut my hair like this into a fade a clean fade okay this was the desired style from the get-go but the ball spot kind of held me back so then when it grew in I cut it so I was rocking this for a while a couple months or so but then I just didn't feel like getting a haircut like I went like four weeks without getting a haircut and I'm the type of person I want a haircut every week so my cut is fresh so I didn't get a haircut for like four weeks because first of all I wasn't going anywhere I didn't have any plans so I was like well I'll just wait it out but then come to find out I got a call and I had a job interview I couldn't go to my job interview with a little baby fro on top of my head with no edge up like if I would have had a tapered edge up or something I would have went but so I called my barber I, they called me about my job interview on Sunday right so I text my barber and was like can you take me tomorrow I need a haircut I got a job interview so he's like I don't work on Monday so I can't take you so I'm like how am I supposed to get a haircut for this job interview that I have on Monday when my barber doesn't work on Monday so I'm like, I'm not going to a job interview with this little baby for on top of my head with no edge up. So, I could have went to another barber, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to. So, my sister is in cosmetology school, so I got her to put a relaxer in my hair. I regret it. Like, my sister did a nice job on the relaxer. Thanks, sis. For the relaxer, you did a good job. But I didn't want a relaxer. Like, I hated being out of the natural hair game. Like, I really hated it. So, it was only temporary. I just wanted it just so I could get a sleek look for my job interview and not have my edges jacked up. So, I had a relaxer, as y'all seen on my channel, like... From the beginning of my channel, I had a relaxer. That's why I'm explaining this because this is not new to me, but it might be new to y'all. So, I had a relaxer from the beginning of my channel. So, I was wanting to wait for my relaxer to grow out. And then I was going to cut it back off. But once my relaxer started growing out, here comes another ball spot. Like, right there. So, I'm like, how the heck am I going to get my fade back now? I got to wait another year. So, I was devastated. I was really upset about it, but 
you know what? I was like, well, I got to get this relax off my hair anyway. So, what day was Today is, it's Tuesday night. What day was that? Saturday, I decided, you know what? I got to get this relaxed ends off anyway because I'm going to start fresh and just grow my hair out long to camouflage the bald spot. So, in the process of that, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it cut off and see if the barber can do something to hide my bald spot. So this time I'm in my hometown because I'm visiting my mom and dad. So I was like, can you hide this bald spot? And he did. He used some type of spray, but I ended up washing out my hair because I had to get all the excess hair out. So then the spray, of course, washed out. So all I did to cover it up was some black eyeshadow. I took a brush and I dabbed some carbon by MAC up in there. And there you go. I mean... Now that I've pointed it out, y'all can tell that it's kind of, well, I mean, I, I'm thinking you could tell, I can tell that it's blank there, but the eyeshadow definitely camouflages it when I'm just, you're just looking at me, you know? So anyway, there's that. That's why I have a fade now. And another thing, can we talk about how I've had this makeup on for 12 plus hours and I'm still uh, beat? Okay. Like, I did my makeup this morning and I finished, I left the house about 10.30, 10.45. So, I finished before that, but I didn't leave the house again. So, I'm going to use that as my marker. So, 10.45 a.m. It is now, it is now 11.39 p.m. And I'm still beat. Like, I didn't do any touch-ups. I didn't blot. I didn't do anything like I didn't do anything like you can definitely see my smile lines but that's every day even when I first leave the house like I just have smile lines whatever but I am beat <laughs> and I tried some new foundations today well not some but I mixed match master by MAC with Maybelline fit me and I love the combo. I, I didn't mix it to get a good combo. I mixed it for the color because neither color was right. So I mixed them together. And I love the outcome. It, it held up really well throughout the day. And I was doing a lot of ripping and running. Me and sis. Y'all go subscribe to her. We ran some errands today. We had a day out. And I am still snatched. So I had to come and record a video today. Okay. So I was just... I got some things to show y'all. So, like I said, me and sis went out today. <laughs> and when we go out, <laughs> I always like to rack up on samples. Like, I'm in the market for samples. Like, I'm a sample type of girl. I love samples. So, of course, we stopped at Sephora. Oh, and this is a mixture of tonight and the other night. We, went, we got samples at another Sephora. So, I'm going to start with the support samples. I'm gonna just show y'all real quick like all the samples I got. Like, like, sample galore. So, okay, I'm gonna start with the Sephora samples. When I go to Sephora, I get foundation samples. So, I have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation, number 77. So I'm really excited to try that. I'm going to do a first impressions video with that. That is another reason I go rack up on samples because all of these samples, <laughs> well, all of the foundation samples are going to be first impression videos. Okay. I need content. You need content to watch. So I rack up on samples to know whether I really want to buy it or not. I advise you to do the same. Okay. The next sample is the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation. And I am in the shade... What am I? What shade am I in? I'm in shade G80, which the G stands for golden. So, which means I have golden undertones. I'm in yellow undertones. Because I'm golden. I'm living my life like it's golden. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? This sample is kind of messy. Um, she didn't do such a good job at packaging that. But, I mean, there it is. So... 
that's that. That will be a first impressions video coming to a computer screen near you soon. And the next one I have is the... What is this? This handwriting is ridiculous. Um... Oh, the Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Cover found in the shade Tobacco. Oh, this one's really messy. This has a real weird smell. But there's a shade. And I'm thinking that this shade might be a tad bit too warm for me. But I'm going to make it work, hopefully. Um, I don't know if y'all have... If y'all know this, but it's new to me. Like, if you go on Sephora, well, I knew they color matched you. Like, they can use a little machine to color match you. But I didn't know that you could type in your color IQ and find all the foundations that Sephora offers to match your skin tone. So, I used my color IQ, and it gives you a list of all the foundations that match your skin tone. And I really wanted to try the Becca Ultimate Color Foundation, but... It didn't come up to match my skin tone exactly so I went my skin IQ is 2y12 so I went to 3y12 and they had a color match for the Becca so I decided to try it, it which means it's kind of too dark for me but after highlighting and contouring and baking hopefully I can pull it off I don't know but we'll see so it's in the shade tobacco Coming to it. Oops, sorry. Coming to a computer screen near you. And the last foundation sample is by Stella Cosmetics, and this is the shade Warm 13. I actually think I might have had a sample of this a while back, but I couldn't remember. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it again, and maybe I did have it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But that's what that one looks like. I I feel like I might have had a sample of this. Like I I'm really not sure. I feel like I did, but you can never have too many samples. I mean I know I don't have a sample right now, so I might as well get another one. You know what I'm saying? So that's all the samples from Sephora. Now these little baby samples. So I don't know. I'm thinking this is at pretty much every mall. There's premiere by the Dead Sea, like the Dead Sea skincare people. I don't know. You know how you always walk in the mall and like, hey, let me ask you a question. Like, you got beautiful skin. What do you use? And they want to pass you a sample and see your hand and rub the different products on your hand so you can see the difference and want to buy it. And it's like $3,000. No, thank you. Just give me the sample. It's hand lotion and I'm going to need that when my hands get ashy in the wintertime. Thank you so much my hands be thirsty but yeah I was walking in the mall and they gave me one on the way to where I was going then I came back and they gave me one on the way back so this one is milk and honey aromatic aromatic body butter so it's body butter I mean it's probably pretty good stuff so I mean I'm gonna use it and this one is advanced Boto cream not exactly sure what that's about. Anyway, just something they gave me. So, it's a sample. I'm going to use it. It's probably pretty good. I don't know. And we also went to Dillard's. Met a really funny guy. Like, he's my freaking favorite. If you are in the Greensboro area and you go to Dillard's and meet, I think his name was Johnny. If you meet Johnny, he's hilarious. He's my new fave. But he gave us tons of samples. Like, we were asking him about skincare. We were talking about the Clarisonic and everything. And he was talking about how it's really helped his skin and different products he's used. So I was asking him, you know, what I should use because I'm suffering with acne and dark spots. So he gave me this sample from the Murad line. I've heard a lot about this line. And I'm really excited to use this. It's a rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum. 85% of people saw spots lightening just one week. I don't know about that. I mean, I've never tried it, but if it works in one week, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? But to use every evening massage evenly over clean face, neck, and chest. Follow with a Murad Step 3 moisturizer. Well, he didn't give me a moisturizer sample, so 
this is like the dark spot serum so I'm really, 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 really excited to try this one. I will try it tonight, actually, once I wash all my makeup off. But I couldn't wash it off yet because I was still beat. And I wanted to record for you all. So, I'm excited to try this. And it's actually a nice size. Like, this is a nice size bottle. It's, it's that high. Like, it's that big. That's a nice size for a sample, I think. And he also gave us Glam Glow masks. He said that Glam Glow was one of his favorite brands for masks. And he gave us the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. It's supposed to really hydrate the skin if you have dry skin, if your skin is thirsty, as he said. I don't really have dry skin, but I'm all about getting wet, you know? And this one is the Power Mud. This is, I'm not really sure what this does, like, I don't remember what this one is for, or specializes in, because he gave us so many, like, I don't know, but it's called Power Mud, Dual Cleanse Treatment. I don't know, I'll let you know. The Super Mud Clearing Treatment, and I remember this one is to clear acne because he gave me two. He was like, this one's for you, girl. You need more than one. Clear that acne up. So he gave me two of those. That's how I remember that this one is for the acne. And then this is the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliant Treatment Mask. So this is going to exfoliate the skin, get all those dead cells off. He said that the harder you scrub it in, the more it will exfoliate. Or you can lightly exfoliate by just gently scrubbing. But I'm going to scrub hard because I, I like to exfoliate pretty heavy, you know. It's a Volcanic Rock Mask. Youth mud, so it's gonna exfoliate and tighten the skin over time. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to try these masks. Um, of course, you don't use them all in one day. Today's Tuesday. I guess I'll just use one every night, and I'll let y'all know at the end of overall how I felt about them and how I feel about this. Hopefully, I see results in a week. I'm trying to be in that 85 percentile, okay? But that's all my samples. I really. Just wanted to come here and talk to y'all because I feel like I haven't talked in a while. And plus, I was like, y'all done watch me for 14 days straight. Y'all probably needed a little break too, you know? So, but I'm back. I'm going to try to get this video up tonight because I don't know. I just have a lot of energy. It's like I'm really sleepy. I've been out all day. I've been up really early today but I just have some energy like I guess when you look good you feel good you want to do good but but I really had a great day like I met some really amazing people today I'm really glad I was out today like I met some really nice people today I like I met so many nice ladies at Chick-fil-a like they were so amazing they were so impressed with my makeup skills and i'm just like girl just book me you know subscribe subscribe and tell your friends you know they were so lovely so if you all are watching from chick-fil-a i love y'all i appreciate y'all y'all made my day for real like the guy at dillard's like he was the bomb.com he was the bomb he was cool he gave me a lot of samples like we wrapped we hit the jackpot on samples today i am in the market for samples okay i'm in the market for samples right now so i can be in the market for all of these things the real products later so i can know if i like them i recommend getting samples is that all i got to say i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna cut it now because i want to go ahead and edit and upload this tonight so I appreciate y'all for watching and be on the lookout for all of those first impression videos because they're coming soon and don't forget to book be the beat. You never forget. But thank you so much for watching and beats and love. See you next time. But y'all like these pimples like.